Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. It's been a while and today you can tell we've got a toucan special and today's Weird Stuff in a Can is macaroni cheese. So yeah, macaroni cheese is not that weird of a thing as far as I'm concerned. However, by viewer request we're doing this because apparently macaroni cheese in a can is a weird thing and I think I would tend to agree although perhaps not for the same reasons that others might. I think most people's experience of commercial mac and cheese is a box, a craft instant box of mac and cheese that you add, I don't know, I don't know how you make it, I've never even done it, because that's the other thing as well, is that this is weird to me, because I always just make macaroni cheese from scratch. I just make a cheese sauce and cook some macaroni and put the things together. So, a bit of a strange thing for multiple different reasons. Anyway, I thought we'd sample two different types. We've got the Heinz branded type and we've got a supermarket own brand here. Most of the supermarkets have got their own brand. Now it may well be that they're manufactured in the same factory, although the can design is different, so maybe not. So let's have a look at the ingredients. So the ingredients for the Heinz one is macaroni, which is made from water and durum wheat, and then water, skim milk, cheddar cheese, 3% cheese, reduced fat cheese, 2%, corn flour, flavoring, modified corn flour, rapeseed oil, mustard, salt, stabilizer, phosphates and sodium phosphates, sugar and color, which is beta carotene, may contain egg. And this one is macaroni, which is made from water and durum wheat semolina, water, medium fat soft cheese, rapeseed oil, modified maize starch, skimmed cow's milk powder, cheese powder, mustard flour, maize starch, stabilizer which is sodium phosphate, salt, fortified wheat flour, uh, yeast extract, whey powder and color which is beta carotene. So slightly different ingredients. This one's got yeast extract in there as a flavoring, probably just as a flavoring enhancer almost. Uh, this one has got cheese, powder, uh, cheddar cheese and reduced fat cheese. This one's got a kind of soft cheese and cheese powder. So it does look like they might be slightly different recipes. Now here's a kind of disturbing thing. The sauce is already liquid in the can here. Now cheese sauce, when you make proper cheese sauce, it sets when it goes cold. So whatever's in here is not a proper cheese sauce. But anyway, I think we've probably done enough talking. It's time to open it. Now normally on a toucan special, I would use the toucan can opener but I've got some bad news for you really and that's this can opener is just not a very good can opener it doesn't open cans very well and I'm sure some people will tell me that's because I'm using it wrong like this and I should be using it like this but that's incorrect and so we're going to fall back on the good old Brabantia I've had this can opener for about 30 years and it's still going strong and again I'm opening it this way because that way doesn't work with this can opener, despite what you might say. And, I mean, clearly there's no other viable way of opening these cans. So, let's open the Heinz first. Probably shouldn't have let that lid form in there because it does look like the sauce is quite liquid. There it is. Okay, and we've got quite a liquid sauce. Elbow macaroni, which is good. Elbow macaroni, this curly stuff, is actually quite difficult to buy as dry pasta in the UK. Anyway, let's open up the Sainsbury's own. Okay, let's not make the same mistake this time. And so, Sainsbury's own. Well, it's different, and so let's just describe the difference then, if we can, because it might not be apparent on camera. So, the Heinz macaroni, the sauce is a more orangey golden colour, and the sauce does look to be slightly thicker in consistency. So it's, it's still a runny sauce at room temperature, but it looks quite a thick sauce. The Sainsbury's own 
is a paler yellow, more of a lemon yellow, but quite a pale colour, and the source is slightly more runny than the Heinz. Same elbow macaroni pasta in both cans by the looks, and not a lot of other differences other than that the yeah the, the Heinz can looks to be a little bit more full than the Sainsbury's can and it looks like maybe there's a bit more sauce to pasta ratio in that one. Let's put some of these on a plate so that we can have a look at them a little better. Now obviously this is meant to be warmed up but I am going to eat some of it cold straight out of the can because why not. So that's the Heinz on the right there and this is the Sainsbury's on the left. Well, do you know what we forgot? What we forgot is, let's have a sniff. Interesting, even though that's the one with yeast extract in it, the Sainsbury's, this one is the one that smells slightly yeasty. It smells a bit like, yeah, fresh bread dough. Very mild smelling, both of them actually, and neither of them smell particularly cheesy, which is interesting. Let's see if the flavour is the thing that redeems them. So the Heinz mac and cheese, which is, let's have a close look at that. There, okay. So let's give that a taste. Quite a strong cheese flavour actually, but it's that kind of strong cheese powder flavour that you get in well ready-made cheese flavoured things. And the Sainsbury's own macaroni, probably should have just taken a spoonful out of the can shouldn't I? Which looks like this. Let's have a taste of that now. Definitely milder flavour on that one. Less of a cheesy cheese flavour there and more of a just creamy sauce flavour. The sauce is a bit more silky on that side, on the Sainsbury's. The macaroni, the Heinz sauce, if I can just taste that again. Yeah, Heinz sauce is, kind of goes a bit watery in your mouth, whereas the Sainsbury sauce Yep, yeah, the Sainsbury sauce remains silky and creamy so that was interesting two quite different products there even though maybe they are made in the same factory who knows perhaps just to different recipes now just to give this a fair crack of the whip we are going to take these downstairs warm them up and serve them over a jacket potato with some salad I think and then I'll let Jenny taste them as well. Okay so I've warmed both of these up. This is the Heinz and this is the Sainsbury's and it became apparent that there is very much more pasta in the Sainsbury's than there is in the Heinz. So there's more sauce in the Heinz, there's more pasta in the Sainsbury's. I'm going to be serving this today on a kind of reheated baked potato. Now before you all rush off to the comments to tell me how weird you think that is, this is not by any means what I would normally do with macaroni cheese. It's just what we happen to be having today and I happen to be opening these cans. So there it is. And I've got some salad to go with this as well. And a little bit of homemade butter. Okay, so We'll go for Heinz on the left, Sainsbury's on the right. And let's just get some salad on the plate as well while we're here. So I think it's only fair to put a bit of pepper on this because most things do need a bit of pepper. And that's what I would normally do anyway. 
So let's try, now I've just reversed the order, so Heinz Sainsbury's. Let's try a bit of this actually without the potato first. So Heinz warmed up. Yeah, it's okay. And Sainsbury's warmed up. And Sainsbury's is almost sweet. What do you think, Jenny? Have you got them mixed together? Um, what's that one? That's the Heinz one. Tell me what you think. So Jenny's just tasting the Heinz one at the moment alone. I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. It's not that cheesy, I would say. It's It's got a cheesy flavour, but it's not as cheesy as it would be if we had made that our own cheese sauce with fresh cheese. That's Heinz. I, yeah. I really don't like the Heinz. Mm -hmm. You don't like the Heinz? No. Nope. Which one? That's that's the one. That's that one. That, that's the one. That's Sainsbury's. Oh, that's The one you've Sainsbury's. just taken. Oh, right. So the Sainsbury's one. Sainsbury's one. There's almost no cheese flavour there. It's bland. Mm. Almost no cheese flavour. It's almost sweet. It's more, more like if you put a bit of sugar and vanilla in that, you'd have macaroni and custard. The Heinz is definitely better than The Heinz is the one that tastes of cheese. Yeah. But I would say, again, both of these, really, they are a bit lacking in flavour. So there we go. That's the taste test when it's warm. OK, so opinion time about the things we just tasted. I think we were both agreed that, of the two, the Heinz was the one that tasted of cheese, even though only somewhat. The Sainsbury's one was so neutral and slightly sweet, it was almost dessert. A little bit of sugar and vanilla, and that would be dessert rather than a main course savoury item. Both of those were improved by adding cheese, and that's what we did in the end. We grated some cheese on top of them. So, yeah, I think really what happens there, if I make a cheese sauce and it tastes like either one of those, my conclusion is I didn't add enough cheese. And I suppose that's what's happened there, really, anyway, because this is a commercial preparation. It's got, I don't know, what, 2 or 3% of cheese in it. So it's not going to be very cheesy. And maybe some people like it that way. But, yeah, I don't think I'd be buying that again. I can't see that it's really all that much more easy or convenient than just making a cheese sauce quickly and boiling some pasta. So one thing that frequently comes up when this dish is discussed internationally is that in the UK this is called macaroni cheese whereas I think in the United States it's called macaroni and cheese and that seemingly slight difference in terminology causes great consternation in some conversational contexts. What I'm interested to know and perhaps you could enlighten me in the comments is if this is called macaroni and cheese in your dialect what about if it was cauliflower instead of pasta in there? Would you call that cauliflower and cheese? Would you call that cauliflower and cheese sauce? Or would you call that cauliflower cheese? I'm just interested to know. So that was Weird Stuff in a Can, macaroni cheese on atomic shrimp. Please let me know in the comments if you think this is weird in a can or if you think it's weird that I think it's weird in a can. Let's discuss. But for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.